I think that it puts in sharp focus the failure of marketing in general to have proven its worth uh, in business. Um, lamentably so. I think that um, marketing during good times, the marketing department in our clients' businesses are allowed to go and play in the uh, sandpit um, and then have fun with not a great amount of money in the grand scheme of things for most clients. Uh, but as in bad times, when they need to make cuts, they come and take their buckets and spades away from them and fire half of the department mm -hmm. and tell them to you know, kind of justify themselves. And they don't, you know, I kind of a very sad statistic is out of the FTSE 100 companies, only six of them have got a marketing person on the board, which gives you a clear view of how important marketing is. It was headline news in weight rolls that Waitrose had got a marketing director on the board uh, and the following week it was headline news that Vodafone, which is the biggest marketer in the UK, had uh, dispensed with its chief marketing officer. So uh, Vodafone does not have a head of marketing anymore. Well. I think we've been equally as bad in proving our worth to clients. Um, we lack all self-confidence as, as an industry. Um, and because of the insecurity that proceeds from that, we reinvent ourselves constantly. Uh, and because we can't justify our presence, we disassociate ourselves from the past and we point to a glorious, efficacious future in which the newly invented form of marketing will lead them into the promised land of sales and brand growth. Every time we announce ourselves with a new magic bullet, a new bottle of snake oil, we become ever more distanced from the reality of our clients' businesses and ever more held in contempt by them. I would put a massive emphasis upon on every agency having their staff of who, be, who intend to stay for more than 12 months should have attained certain levels of excellence. 12 months, 12 months, there should be a five year apprenticeship uh, which, every, which people in agencies have got to serve and the management of the agencies are responsible for leading this. The pressure is also upon them to train clients because clients the ignorance with which they go about doing their job is just baffling. I, I think we were, in a, in a bit, we were in a strange situation here in the UK that the, the children of the irresponsible parent are going to the age of 11, 12 and can't read or write. And so they, their abilities to create are savagely impaired because reading is one of the great means of opening up avenues to the imagination. Um, the children of the responsible have never been more catered to. You could do a degree in floristry, puppetry, third world studies and pop music, environmental science and dance, equestrianism and popular music. So the children of responsible parents have never been better catered to creatively. But I think you're shining the light in the wrong part of the room. I think that our Art colleges, uh, advertising colleges, I think, are not, not training them properly. I think any brand that sets out to have a higher purpose than turning a profit it will probably go out of business fairly quickly. You know, kind of like they should, they need to stick to their knitting. Uh, most brands, I think, will try and solve people's problems. That's how you stay in business. Well, how will this brand solve their problem? And you can do that through the product or the service. Or as has happened recently, you can do it with a cause that is congruent with the brand idea. I think somebody read an article in 2000 that said that people aren't influenced by politics left or right anymore, but they will give their time and their efforts to causes. And as with everything in this, in this industry, as soon as somebody reads that, everybody says, what's the cause that we can associate our brand with? McDonald's sponsoring farmers, British farmers. That's the cause, a good cause. Is it? Is it, is it a bit of a stretch? You know, it's a good cause, British farmers. They need our support, but do they need Ronald McDonald's?
leading support. I'm not sure. You've got to be very careful that these things sit comfortably underneath the umbrella of the overarching brand idea. Yeah, I mean, it sounds to me like someone's reinventing things again, I'm afraid, to folks. That kind of thing strikes me as a bit like you, you're going home last night and I see a drunk on his hands and knees and he's looking and he's searching around, so being a big-hearted person with a high moral purpose, I say, what are you looking for? He says, I've, I've lost my, my cufflink. So I said, where was it? He's kind of round here, you know, kind of, so I'm looking. I say, you know, kind of like, after five minutes, sorry, mate, but if it was here, We'd have found it now. He said, oh, no, I didn't lose it here. He said, I said, what? He said, I lost it over there. I said, well, why are we looking over here? He says, because the light is better. And I think that that kind of, I don't think we should call them customers. We shouldn't call them consumers. And God forbid, should we call them prospects? Because it's limiting my ability to do what I need to do. Is a bit like looking over there because the light is better than going over there and sorting out what the big problem is.